welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we're here with a Get Ready With Me where we are going to try, I think, three or four new products. We're gonna try a new powder. I talked about it in haul. We're gonna talk, we're gonna try a new face product. This is a sheer skin tint from Summer Fridays, and we're also going to try a new mascara. What do you guys think? Before you get to the end of the video where I do this, what do you think about my lashes? And I don't mean like, what do you think in terms of your lash preference? What do you think about my, my lash preference? You guys know I like it to look a little bit like a, like a, like a thick spider leg. That's kind of my style, but I'm not sure if I'm giving off those, those vibes today with, with this mascara. Like it, the brush is a little wonks, but anyway, you wanna see how I got this look, so all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to repeat a repeat offender from last from the last Get Ready With Me that we did. This is the one size Secure the Blur primer, so it's a texture smoothing primer and also a mattifying and I actually really enjoyed it with my experience with mattifying primers they almost leave like a white cast or like a film yeah they certainly definitely dry out like the surface of your skin I personally don't like how that feels I don't have a need for that but this one's like a perfect hybrid product of a dimethicone or a pore filling primer and then a mattifying it's like a happy like a happy medium or a combo. Then we are gonna go in with, should we do this one? You know what I have to do? And I need you guys to tell me in the comments. So let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in seeing a declutter video because I'm kind of at that point where I've narrowed down my makeup. Kosas, I forget the name of this concealer, Revealer the creamy super creamy and brightening concealer process so let me know if you would be interested i'm kind of at that point with my collection or my stash even though i have significantly minimized my collection and gotten rid of a ton of stuff i mean even before we moved into this house and we've been here for a few years and I'm there where I need to do that again and just even further to where I can, I know exactly what makeup products I have. Not to mention that the stuff that I have is, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit how old some of that stuff is, so that can't be good. We're gonna try a new product and I talked about this in a vlog update slash haul video. This is from Summer Fridays, it's a sheer skin tint. It's supposed to be very light coverage and supposed to give you a natural radiant radiant look. It's sheer to light coverage, so sheer to light. Not light coverage, sheer to light. So that automatically means really, really, really light coverage. And I haven't done any research on this. You see how viscous it is? I haven't done any research on it. I haven't read any reviews. I'm not sure how it's recommended that you apply it. Shake well, smooth over skin, following your skincare routine and layer as needed for additional coverage. If you guys hear funny sounds or the camera shakes, it's because Wesley is right in between you guys. So the tripod, like the tripod's there, he's, he's right underneath and being real cute about it. We're just letting him live his life, you guys. He is living his best life. There is no tool recommendation, so certain products come with uh, use with a brush, use with your fingers, warm up between your hands, like instructions. Is that my, that's my watch band. Wow, that is noisy. I never realized. Now you're, you're going to know when I'm dabbing. You'll just, just follow the, just follow the soundtrack to my life. I really wanted to try this product because I think it's one of those that you can wear without any other makeup. You know what I mean? Like, I'm taking it off. I can't, I just can't, I can't do it. Sorry guys, can't do it where you can wear it on its own, where if you don't wear a powder, you don't wear concealer, you don't wear anything else, it's totally going to uh, work well, blend nicely, be even. It is layerable. I'm not sure I want to. I just like to have something on my skin, especially when I wear concealer, like if my eyes, so, <laughs> because we're all friends here. I have been crying every single day for the last few weeks because we are going through a lot of a lot of trials and so you know <laughs> I'm 
I'm getting put through the fire. This knife is getting forged and I've, I'm still in the middle of the process. And so it's, it's been tough. It's been tough with, with just everything in general, but particularly with the health of our dogs. It's just, I'm not ready, man. I am not ready and I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to talk about it and I don't want to ruin my makeup that I anticipate is going to look fabulous. So, I mean, this is awesome. I really like this. I'm in shade four. I'm not sure how many shades there are. I want to say like 10 or 12. It is definitely sheer, but it's sheer. It's worth it sheer. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though it's sheer, there are some products that are sheer and you're like, what's the point? No, this is, this is worth it sheer. So it's sheer enough to be sheer, but sheer enough to where it counts. <laughs> so definitely a fan. We're going to kind of wear it today and see how it behaves on my face. See if I stay a fan because who knows? I mean, maybe in the next two hours, I'm going to turn into a grease ball. We also have to remember what we used as the base layer, which was the one size primer. So if it doesn't work out or if I don't like the results, then next time I'll change the primer or I won't use the primer. And that's something that you want to consider too when you're trying new products is what did you pair them with and are those a possibility of why they're not playing nicely. So really like it. Definitely a product, like I said, that I would just slap on my face on days where I don't want to wear anything else, but I just want it to look like I woke up this way, but in a way that's like worth it, but where it makes a difference, but people aren't going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes a difference, but people are just going to think it's your skin because I think that the finish that it gives is very skin like it's a very skin like finish. And I love that of products. Do you guys remember, man, 10 years ago when I started on YouTube and it was all about the, let's say louder double wear ultra super heavy duty matte full coverage, man, that was like, that was at a point in my life where I really didn't even need to cover anything. Why in the heck was I using matte and why was I using a full coverage foundation? Like it was so bizarre, but you know what? That's what was in style. That was the makeup trend. And I was trying to follow the trends now in my almost 40 years. Like I don't, I don't follow any trends. You know what I follow? My kids are on at target. That's, that's what I follow. We're going to go in with this other newbie. This is the bio blurring loose setting powder from House Labs. Love the packaging, super luxe. It also has this um, little mesh stopper thing. And do you see that? So that perfectly locks into the mesh. So if you dump out exactly the amount of powder that you need, that will plug it every time that you use it. However, if you're like me and you kind of dump out some of the product, you just got to remember not to flip it around or play with it any crazy kind of way because Look at this. It's like pantyhose. I don't know if I've ever noticed that in another product that they have that like bouncy pantyhose mesh for the powder. Ooh, hello. Hello nurse. Look at that. You really can't get out too much product with a sponge. So that's nice. Like if you need a reminder to use a light hand. The other thing is Actually, you know what? Let's do a taste test. Just kidding. Let's do a brush test. So maybe if you put in a brush, like it allows for the bristles to get in through the mesh. So I think that's why it's designed that way. So the bristles will go in the mesh as opposed to like a sponge. You really can't get much product out, which for a person like me, I mean, you need to hold my hand or I'm going to put too many scoops in my, in my Sunday, you know? <laughs> You need to do it for me or I'm going to go overboard. My eyes are always so much bigger than my actual stomach or my mouth. Is that a saying? Let's just, let's pretend it's a saying for makeup as well. So I like it. It doesn't feel powdery though. It feels like a very natural set, which might be a good thing, especially with what we're going for here, just like highlighting our natural features, you know? So I initially wanted to use the Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot Blush. It's one of my newer picks. Actually, I only have two, this one and the Nearly Neutral. But with what I'm wearing and the eyeshadow that I kind of maybe am imagining myself doing, I think I'm just gonna have to stick with 
with the one I always use. And this is one of those smaller, it's clean, I just, it was stained. I hate when my sponges get stained because it makes me feel like my sponge is dirty and you guys know how I feel about like dirty packaging, like showing me a foundation and the bottle's all dirty or using dirty makeup brushes, it just, I don't like it. Anyway, what was I gonna tell you? That I wanted to use the apricot, but I chose not to because it doesn't match with what I'm imagining my makeup look to be today. Something like that. I think I'm close. I think I'm in the ballpark of what I wanted to, to say. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to hit like super pan on this to see what the bottom looks like because I'm, I think it might be one of those products that's like a total fake out where it looks like it has more product than it actually does. But then I'm like, ah, oh, then will that, will that affect the way I feel about it? I mean, probably not because I love it so much. I've used it in like every makeup video since I got it. All right. I always do a little bit of a heavy hand with cream blushes because then I go in with highlighter and the highlighter kind of messes with it a little and then I go in and fix it. It's just sort of like a system that I have. I'm not saying it's a good system, but it's what I do. So we're gonna use this on camera because I talked about it in my favorites, but I didn't really give you guys much. I guess I, I, I didn't show it to you in action. So let me put on some and then I'll blend it out a little bit with a brush. Oh, which one do I want? Let's do this one, this little brush. And so you see, it's like, it's a nice highlighter, but oh, you can tell that big spot. It's a nice highlighter, but everyone that talks about it, talks about it like it's reinventing the wheel. And it just, it's just a normal highlighter. It's beautiful and it's super stunning. The shade that I have is Exhilarate. So it's not the gold one. I think it's the champagne. So it's the second color in like the lineup. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty. Like it, easy to blend, forgiving. It would be a really great inner corner highlighter. Why did I go so high? This is, remember when I was telling you that the mesh on the powder was a good idea? This is why, can we put mesh on this highlighter? <laughs> Oh my goodness, pretty highlighter, but I'm sure you have three or four or six already in your collection that are very similar to it. So no need to get anxious because it keeps selling out. You know, another thing you can do is just go into a local Sephora and, and see the tester for yourself and convince yourself. Because I know I'm, <laughs> hello, I'm hard headed. I'm that person that if you say, hey, don't touch the stove because it's hot, I need to touch the stove for myself and find out for myself. Like you, can, you can't prevent me from making a mistake. That's how stubborn and hard headed I am. And so if you need to go into a Sephora yourself to, to test it out, I highly recommend that. I'm gonna jump off camera and do my brows, then we'll come back and do eyeshadow. Okay, so only a little lopsided, but that's okay because it's totally on brand with, uh, with life right now. So we're just gonna roll with it. Lopsided brows, no big deal. Let's take this palette. I made the mistake of cracking it open last week and now I'm like, okay, this is, this is what I want out of my life. We are going to take, let's say this one again, the pink. Yeah, and we're gonna just do a little zhuzh, zhuzh up here. I did notice the Summer Fridays tint is very humectant. And by humectant, I mean it's a little clingy. So if you are going to follow up with powders on your face, like a highlighter or eyeshadows, you wanna make sure to really set it down with powder. So like right now, my eyelids are a little uh, moist. Just kidding. <laughs> I really like that word, okay? I like how cringy that word is and I like how people freak out every time you say moist, moist. So yeah, my, my eyelids are a little hydrated, which I don't mind, I just have to buff a little bit better and just you know put some elbow grease into blending out the shadows, which is fine. It also helps with a little bit of the clinginess, clinginess of the pigment, so it'll stick to your lids better. So just a little FYI. If you don't like that, if you like to be able to blend super easy, then you wanna make sure to really get in there and set super good. Even, oh, I like that. Over here, I need a little more. A little more happening over here. Matchy now? 
Have you ever done this where then now you got to go to this side? Back and forth, back and forth. I've really been liking this soft blown out look. You know, really no definition. It's just kind of, it almost is like watercolor. Like this little water, watercolor look. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this. And I think I'll do, ooh, let's see. So many choices. Let's do blue. Let's do blue over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like that. Maybe a little more down here. Just some blue. Okay. Now we'll do it over on this side. Cute. So cute. A little bit more. Oh my gosh. I look like a Care Bear. Like in a good way. Should I stop? I kind of want to stop because I like it, but y'all know how I am. There's no stopping this one. I'm gonna go in with this shamrock color here. Might regret it. Might not. Okay. I think I need a different brush. So let me even things out and then I'll go in with a different brush. This one's a little bit too fluffy and big for the small area. All right, let's do this one here. We wanna make sure we continue with that light hand so that it stays diffused, I guess you can say. Like that, see how I already went in too, too hard right there. I really wanted that just soft, blown out, like misty look. Messed it up. Of course I did. On brand. All right. Okay. We'll just we'll just back up. We'll back up a little bit. Take the blue one more time to kind of make sure there's no demarcation. Okay. Now over here. Yes. Perfect. Oh my goodness! It's so cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, and zero fallout, you guys. Zero fallout, I love that. Okay, now we are going to play with, I can't decide. I told you guys in the hall that I got two new mascaras from L'Oreal. This is an old school, and I've just, I've never tried it. For 10 years, I waited. Finally, I got bit by the bug. But this one's getting a lot of hype right now, the telescopic lift. So maybe I wanna stay, maybe I wanna stay trendy. It says load and lift. Double hook bristles. Load and lift, that gives me very um, Lash Freak vibes. And I think, does L'Oreal own Urban Decay? I think they do, right? So if L'Oreal owns Urban Decay and Lash Freak was discontinued, this one, the whole premise behind Lash Freak was that it had a straight side where you could glob on the mascara and just soak up your lashes with a ton of product and then boom, go in with the bristly brush to um, to make your lashes stand up. Let me see if I can, sorry about this, but you know, it's all for science. No, it definitely does not look like Lash Freak, but I do love the flat side so that we can get heavy with that coat. Oh, this is nice. I love silicone mascara ones. I am a fan of the silicone ones as opposed to the natural bristles. They just, I don't know, I feel like they work better for my lashes. My lashes have gotten really long thanks to an eyelash serum, but they're still not like luscious and thick. You guys already know the mascara trick, right? When you smear mascara or smudge mascara on your lashes, I'm sorry, on your lids or your face, just leave it. Fight the compulsion to want to wipe. Just leave it. Completely leave it alone exactly where it is. It doesn't matter if you look silly or goofy or, you know, your husband walks in and you have mascara stains all over your face. Just leave it. 
Give it a good amount of time, bless you. Give it a good amount of time to dry and then you'll take a dry, clean Q-tip and it'll come right off. I'm obviously having issues with separating these lashes here. Probably slept on my face last night. You guys ever sleep on your face and then your lashes in the morning have like bad hair, a bad hair day? That's, that's what we're experiencing right now. All right, now we're gonna go in on this side. The brush takes some getting used to, let me tell you. It's like a paddle almost. It's like a paddle with bristles on both sides, like a flat. Imagine like a flat paddle and then bristles on either side of the flatness of the edges, not the actual flatness. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going in for Second coat, see where the, the load up part is. Cause I'm not getting a, there we go, okay. So it is nice. I feel like I need to go in with a less voluminous mascara first and then go in with this guy. This one gives me really good, voluminous, chunky vibes. But if you don't have a really strong layer at the bottom or at the base, they can get a little like crispy looking. So I'll have to see final, like final, final product, how it looks and watch back the footage and take a picture and see how it looks because just right now, raw first impression. And the mascara is still also a little damp, moist. So once it dries down, a lot of mascaras, when they get dry, they get super like crunchy and brittly looking. Not my favorite. That's probably one of the worst for me is either a super dry mascara that just doesn't do any buildup because I need buildup since I don't have thickness or volume in my lashes. So, that's just for people that already are blessed with volume. The dry, moussey ones. And uh, the ones that are that just dry, brittle. But I like it. I mean, I could play with it. I don't hate it. And I think that's a plus when it comes to mascara is I usually just right away know. Like the Tarte C. It comes in like a light mint box. It has this, the word C in it, like the ocean C in white letters. I absolutely hated that mascara. Oh my gosh. It was awful, super awful. And it came highly recommended. So I was very excited and it was just the worst. So I could not, I could not love it. It went straight into the garbage. I know the worst. I just couldn't, I couldn't like it, I didn't like it. Oh, you know what else I really, 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 really didn't like? The concealer that I talked about in a few vlogs, a few vlogs ago, that I went to Ulta at night and I was like, oh my God, I just, I forgot to get this concealer and I'm so excited and it turns out I'm a different color than I thought I was and points and blah, blah, blah. Do you guys remember that vlog? It, oh my gosh, it was so bad, so bad. I'm so, I guess I'm so, I've found the type of products that I love and the textures that I love and the finishes that I love that when they don't really fit in that box, it makes me feel some type of way and usually not good. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I finished my lashes. I guess the verdict for now, just the way they are without wearing them throughout the day, without seeing if they kind of smudge down here, just first impression, like it, don't love it. Like it, don't love it also don't hate it, so that's a good thing. Since you guys know I have a love and fascination obsession with the House Labs lip oils, we're just gonna go in with one of those for today. Just to stay on brand with this softness that we have going on here. It's like Lucky Charms softness. This is the shade Primary, I believe. Yeah, Primary. Oh gosh, putting it on without a mirror is hard. See what I mean about these lip oils? Isn't that just like, 
it was just a lip oil and it feels like a lip oil as opposed to a gloss. I think I have like MAC lip gloss PTSD, you know, like the MAC lip glosses that are just, they're like a glue trap. They look stunning and they last on your lips for a long time, but the comfort level is like a negative three. But these are just, you forget you're wearing them. The tint that it leaves behind is so beautiful, so natural. It just kind of plumps up your lips and makes them look healthy and moist. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. So a little summary, I guess, of the products that we used. I love the skin tint or the sheer tint from Summer Fridays. Is it called? Sheer Skin Tint. The Sheer Skin Tint from Summer Fridays. Definitely love it. And I love the multi-use aspect of it. So I'm excited to use it on days where I don't have anything else on my face. On those days where I just kind of want to even out my skin tone because I'm feeling a little flushy. I'm excited to see how it performs or how it looks. I love it so far, but I'll definitely have to update you guys. This is my favorite from this video. As far as the mascara and the powder are concerned, I'm on the fence. I like them but I'm not in love with them from first use. They might be one of those items, no. The mascara, I'll know in just maybe an hour or two whether or not I love it. With the powder, I think it's gonna be one of those things where I have to use it with different primers, with different base products or concealers just to see kind of where it's at, and with different tools. I don't hate it, I like it, but it's definitely not a replacement for not a replacement for this guy. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. I'm I'm not, you know, like we're we're on life support now, and so I'm not I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like any and all my get ready with me's, I will make sure to list and link all of the products that I used in this video in the description box, as well as what I'm wearing, my accessories, my jewelry, my really, really loud for some reason watch band, my sweater, all of that stuff will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.